As we discussed in our first episode, when female characters are damseled, their ostensible agency is removed and they're reduced to a state of victimhood. So narratives that frame intimacy, love, or romance as something that blossoms from or hinges upon the disempowerment and victimization of women are extremely troubling because they tend to reinforce the widespread regressive notion that women in vulnerable, passive, or subordinate positions are somehow desirable because of their powerlessness. Ah! Help! <laughs> Second, and perhaps more importantly, damseled female characters tend to reinforce pre-existing regressive notions about women as a group being weak or in need of protection because of their gender. While stories with the occasional helpless male character do not perpetuate anything negative about men as a group, since there's no long-standing stereotype of men being weak or incapable because of their gender. Today I'm going to be talking about something, like, really important. It's really hard for me to talk about this, and I've only told a few people, but I feel like it's my responsibility to spread awareness because this sort of thing happens every day. Some of you may have already read the article that I wrote about this the other day, but I wanted to make a video because it just felt so much more personal and I thought it would get the message across a little better. So anyway, a few weeks ago, I almost drowned. I was at this lake having my first swim of the summer. There is this like jumping platform thingy that everybody was jumping off. So I thought, what the hell, I might as well try it too. It looked like fun. Apparently, I hit my head on the way down and I was knocked unconscious. I woke up lying on my back, back up on the platform with a whole bunch of people standing around me and this weird 40 year old something, 40 year old guy like pressing down on my chest. At first I had no idea what was going on, but then the man who had revived me told me that I had been underwater for almost two minutes. He said that he had been lucky to get a hold of me down there. A small part of me was happy to be alive but the rest of me was screaming inside. I can't believe he just felt that he had the right to just grab me under the water while I was knocked unconscious. I wasn't able to consent. He thought it was perfectly okay to just grab my body and pull me in whatever direction that he pleased. He possessed my body and he grabbed my waist and pulled me around down there like it was his right, like he wanted to fucking have sex with me down there in the water. Fucking aquatic sex. I feel so violated. I can't believe it. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please? 